physician, Dr. McCullough, how might a patient present? What symptoms might they present with? Or would make you think this could be root canal related? Well, before I answer that, I just want to make a point to, to, to uh, emphasize what Dr. Garcia mentioned in that. There are very few absolutes in, in life, certainly in medicine, but close to one of them, uh, there are negatives in, in dentistry, and one of them is that there is never any indication for fluoride, like never. Like, is it, it is never useful in dental medicine. It just is never indicated, despite what they're telling you. And the same thing for root canals. There is just never an indication for a root canal because it will only hurt your health. Uh, so I, I definitely, and she's, Dr. Cassidy, I'm sure she's going to talk about some of the alternatives to root canals. Uh, some of them are, you know, a lot of the, they, they frequently need to be tiered because of the cost of the, some of these different options. But it is definitely something I would never encourage anyone to have as a root canal. It is, that is definitely not want, something you want to do. Unfortunately, I never had a root canal. Uh, Dr. Garcia actually performed my surgical intervention system to, to, for the alternative. So, uh, with respect to the presenting symptoms, they could be widely varied. Typically, obviously you can have pain in the tooth, but it can cause a whole variety of symptoms. You could have a, you could have a ventricular fibrillation, you could have a heart attack, you could have... Uh, it really depends on... The, the, the presenting symptoms really depend on which tooth had the root canal because they're all connected to acupuncture meridians that have, can have impacts on different areas of the body. So it can affect your kidney, your heart, your lungs, your liver. It depends. Your brain. Um, so there's a very sophisticated energy medicine techniques that really uh, provide uh, giant clues. And that's what we do in our clinic is that we do some very advanced autonomic muscle, autonomic nervous system testing that gives us an understanding if this is a priority and really blocking, something that's blocking a person's path towards improving their health. So uh, that's the way we do a screen, screen for it clinically. It's just, I think it's just important to know that if you've got a root canal and you have a health problem, it could be an issue. Now it may not be, it may not be. Clearly not every root canal causes acute problems that are obvious. I think eventually they'll, they'll impair exactly. your health, but, but they may not be an issue at that time. Exactly. So you know you can't blame it on everything, but it's clearly something to consider. In every Absolutely. situation, no matter what. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And Dr. Garcia, a few months ago, Dr. Mercola published an article you wrote uh, in his <coughs> newsletter about new materials, and you focus on this new material uh, for implants called zirconia. And so can you tell us a little bit more about what is zirconia and summarize the advantages it has over other materials? Yeah, the zirconia uh, implants, they are uh, implants that are more biocompatible, osteointegration is better than your titanium implants. And that they are oxidized, they are oxidized metals, so they are in the ceramic family. So the immune response to those implants are better. So they are one of the alternatives in case a patient have a root canal or a patient are missing teeth and instead of uh, the only choice we had not too long ago, not in my practice, I never placed uh, titanium implants. I didn't find that titanium implants had enough immune response that was good enough for me to um, uh, give my patients as a choice. So when the zirconia implants came in, now we do have a better choice. So we do um, give patients the choice for the, 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 the zirconia implants. And um, because of the oxidation of, the, of those, uh, the zirconia, it becomes a much better, uh, 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 it's more in the family of the porcelain, it's more in the family of the ceramics. So we, we are now, we have better choice. And the article was great because it gave a lot of information. And of course, some dentists and more conventional people are a little bit upset um, because uh, they're not used to that. They don't even know it's, it's now, it's, uh, it has been totally approved in this country and we're using as a very solid choice. So those are the... the well, some of the other issues too is that the titanium is a metal and zirconium is not. This is more of... When it's oxidized, it becomes oxidized. It's, it's It doesn't function as a metal. And the exactly. reason that's important is that there's this... Uh, physics that, uh, component that can occur when you have metal in the mouth that actually produces what's called electrogalvanism and produces actual measurable currents 
and the teeth are obviously very close to the brain. So these currents can actually interfere with very subtle neurological uh, inputs, and it could it could have significant influence on, on your on your brain and your central nervous system. So that's one of the reasons you why it's probably not a good idea to put any type of dissimilar metals in their mouth because we have two different two different metals. If you had just titanium and nothing else, there was no amalgams or gold crowns, then it wouldn't be as much of an issue. But when you have two different metals, then it exactly. actually is a battery and you have exactly. courage flowing. So that's one of the reasons. And the other, the zirconium, is, is not convert, it, it was just recently proven in the United States, and it is not something that's used commonly in this country. It's, and not yet. Dr. It's Garcia right. had to get her training internationally. She had to go uh, overseas to get this uh, because there are no training courses in this country. So it's a relatively novel and innovative and recent alternative, and one that I didn't really have access to. I did not have, I mean, I probably, if, if that technology existed when I had my bridge. root canal, I had put a bridge. And, I, and I, I wish this technology would have been available. I guarantee you, I would have used it. So I'm, I'm you know, because it's it's less destructive. You take less exactly. tissue, and, and, and cost-wise, it's probably similar. She, she, Dr. Garcia can address that. But I wish it would have been available when I had my options. I certainly would have used it. Well, as I mentioned in the introduction, you have the number one health alternative well website, and I know this article was very well received and one of the most popular. Why do you think this is such a hot issue now? Because there's a lot of confusion on the area, and it's something I've got many readers of mine are uh, sensitized to expecting to see the latest and the greatest on the site when it comes to innovations in health, and you know, this resonated with many of them because it's a challenge many people have to find out a practical alternative to a, a, a tooth which is essentially decayed and damaged and needs to be surgically removed. I mean, a root canal, you can, you know, that's another confusion is that the, 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 the traditional dentist would like you to believe that they can sterilize it, but it's it's physically it's been proven physically impossible. There's just miles and miles of these Side these uh, canals in there that are impossible to sterilize. You just Weston Price proved that nearly a, a century ago. You cannot sterilize it, so it's like leaving some dead tissue in your mouth, and you would never. There's no other area in the body where you leave a dead organ or dead tissue exactly. in your body, than except for the mouth. So exactly. it's just. You know, so people understand that, they get that, and then they're looking for alternatives. So that's, I think, one of the reasons why they were excited to see another alternative. Sure. Earlier you mentioned fluoride, and Dr. Garcia, I wanted to ask you, you have a whole chapter in your book on fluoride and the problems with adding it to the water system. What are your concerns with fluoride? Well, fluoride is dumped into the water system with no regards for individual needs. So the same amounts that are in the water system, uh, you know, you have a child, you have an adult or an elderly, you have uh, a sick, a healthy patient, and the same amount is given to all. You know, drugs, they have to be specific for the individual needs. Um, it's, it's truly an agreement. If someone wants fluoride for whatever reasons, and Dr. McCall and I were very clear that fluoride should not be at any level for any patients or any situation at all. But it, if, if there is an agreement between a patient and a physician, a patient and a dentist, it's in between them and they will have their agreement and, and take the dosage that they need. But to dump this in the water system and expect everybody to take the same way, it's just totally not acceptable. It's an ethical issue. Well, um, and it's an ethical issue because it's a poison. It's, it's, a, a, it's poison a proven being toxic. Proved poison being imposed by a government or by pharmaceutical or by whoever in Europe it's being banned from many countries in, in other countries in the world and one of their very clear principle is that it's an ethical you do not impose drugs on it's not it cannot be imposed in a population it has to be a choice if that's the case. You do not impose antidepressants in the water or any other medications for that purpose. So we have to have this at least this one principle of being ethical to have patients making choices and their practitioners rather than a government or the big pharmaceutical people imposing that. So it is a very serious issue. And I, you know, Dr. McCall has tons of articles on this and tons of wonderful uh, videos of very experts making comments and I do hope that we do get that out in the public so it, it is awareness and we need that and I'm so glad that he's so into the frontier to be able to do that. Well tell us if you will 